<laughs> Fully rolled mattress. <laughs> game on this morning, we got um, pre-sunrise start, Macca's coffee, got me good mate Muzz with me this morning, I'll have to, uh, have to get him on the screen a little bit later. We're going to get out there, chase some big flatties on lures, and uh, hopefully pull a decent size one, but boy it's been a while, it's good to be out before, uh, before sunrise on the, on the estuaries, because it's been way too long after the COVID restrictions. Let's go and get it done. is just about to peak over the horizon and we're out here on our first spot the tide's a little bit different to what I thought this morning it's been too long since I've been out here fishing this so the tide's are still coming in at the moment so we've just come out onto the broad water we're going to throw these big slap sticks around for a little while I've got uh, some surface lures we're going to try those and hopefully get a little flatty early and then when it changes I think the wind's due to get up so we're going to head into the creeks and try and get out of the wind and uh, catch the run out tide and hopefully there's some drains in there that we can fish. So that's the plan this morning. We've got heaps of rods, heaps of options in um, for whatever presents itself. We've got to set a few more of them up because it's been so long since I was last out here chasing floodies. But uh, this is the time of year to start to get some numbers. I don't know about the big ones. I think the big ones set, tend to turn up a little bit later in the season, but we're gonna have a go for them anyway. We've got good intentions. There's a few boys out here that are beating us to it actually this morning and they're driving all over the flats already. So, uh, yeah, we won't stuff around any longer. Let's get out and hit it, Muzz. Thanks, mate. Man, this is a complicated rig, isn't it? Yeah, complicated little bits of... To get it right, it's, it's a little bit tedious. Yeah. Because the average angler isn't doing that. No way, man. Yeah. Just let me test that and see that it's gonna going to swim properly for you so it's not that's what you want yeah, yeah it's even better than the last one okay. kind of that's the kind of thing that i fully tuned into from doing all this big flatty fishing just so you don't get bitten off by a big one, hopefully. And then we're sort of running a lighter drag so that they can take off and run, yeah. but they can't really run anywhere anyway. Oh yeah, yep, oh, just missed a big one. <gasps> Dude, big, big flatty. Come on, come on, big flathead. Real big. The moment it hit the water, man. I fully cooked it too. Fully just cooked that. Biggest rookie ever. Yep. Just landed, bang off the surface, missed all the hooks. In there, Cod, firing. Oh, look at it. Look at it, bro. Gone. Oh. Hey. That was a big one, eh? Hey? This time of year, boy. Oh no, man. I can't believe I just dropped that fish. I've seen some big fish off this edge here, Cod, too. Yeah. yeah. 
it's not a bad little spot as long as it's not too much. See how this weed turning up? Yep. It can sort of get in the road a little bit. And if your lure starts to catch it all the time, it's just like, don't even bother. Oh, there goes one, look. Oh, yeah, 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 yep. yeah. Surely that's not the first one in this zone. There should be one in closer. Oh, oh big flatty dude. Big oh. fun, man. Did you see it? it? Yeah. Big flatty. There's a big dog. Yeah, he was up around that 70 to 80. That's a good one, mate. Um, That's a good one. Keep the pressure on it. Go, lad. That's what we want, man. Oi, good fish. Are you winning? Yeah. yeah. I'll get the net. Yes. Oh, it's a beauty. It's a beauty. <laughs> Go, son. <laughs> Listen to that drag fizzing. Get baby. PB on the cards here for cod. Oh, 100%, mate. Go, you good thing. Oh, Brazzy, look at that. You ready? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Buddy. Go, yeah. mate. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, look at the size of this flathead, man. You <laughs> beauty. Oh. Wow. Mate, how oh. you have waited for that. <laughs> Put it there, brother. <laughs> yes. Oh, what a oh, highlight, dude. mate. Look at that. <laughs> Right in the corner of the jaw, and then the stinger's got it down the back end. You beauty. Cod. <laughs> <laughs> Shake it out, brother. Shake it out. <laughs> Try and get the hooks out. What a beauty. Oh. Oh, man. That's a beast, eh? That is a beast. I can try and get those hooks out. Oh, I'm so stoked for you, God. Like, there's been a lot of times coming out, and I can have missed those these guys, eh? Yeah. Oh. Probably you probably hooked one of the biggest flatties I've ever seen, eh? And it and it was just gone in an instant. It was so fast. I don't have gloves, mate. Which usually you want to you want to hold it with gloves. I can give you this, right? And the way you you, you want to hold it. Yep. It's just sort of loose. If it wants to go crazy, you can just you just sort of loosely hold it, and you want to hold under its belly. Yeah, okay. Mate, what a cracker! Are you ready for the for the shot that you need to send to your brother? That is a big flatty. So yeah, hold there, and then under the belly there, yep. and then just turn her sideways. Oh god, that is a big flatty, bros. Look at that thing, mate. Oh, I'm so stoked for you, Cod. Geez, you've been persistent, man. How do you feel about that, Muzz? Mate, I'm pretty, pretty excited. I just think I've still got the shakes. Yeah, me too, man. Just to see it rigged <laughs> like that. Beautiful stuff. On one of those slapsticks, eh? Yeah. All right. Just big, big paws. I think yeah. I just got caught mid-conversation talking to you. It's probably the best thing that happened. <laughs> uh, we'll get him back in the water, right? Eh? Yeah, let's do it. Beautiful. All right, so what I wanted to do just to finish up this video is go through the gear that we've used this morning to get the fish. And uh, basically, because this is starting to head into flathead fishing uh, season now, I might go through some of the other options if you're getting into your flatty fishing or just want to try a few different lures, some of the other options that might get you onto those really, really big fish. So we're going to go through some of this stuff and the gear that we've been using. But before we do, uh, the point that I wanted to make in this video, I've got Muzz with me this morning and before we even hit the water, 
we were in hysterics in the car and for me usually going out fishing by myself and filming it's a little bit more serious that the tone of the the morning because I don't have someone with me but when I when I bring Muzz out with me every time I tend to enjoy the session a lot more that's probably been the highlight for me is just to be way more relaxed on the water and enjoying ourselves uh, than I usually end up doing because I'm fishing hard by myself so um Muzz, what's, can I just get you on the camera for a sec? Thanks, Muzz, for joining my little box. Thanks, thanks mate. Thanks um, for having me. Uh, mate, what's, been, what's one of the, the, the worst things about fishing with me when you come out? Well, I'm usually, you know, getting beat. In <laughs> There's not a chance about fishing you in, in a session, so that's always, um, for someone that's pretty competitive, that's always, you know, one of the worst things. But at the same yeah. time, I wouldn't get a fish without you, so it's... <laughs> It's, um, it's a it's a it's a uh, it's it's a balancing sort of act between yeah. them. Well, I've always sort of thought we we're talking about this this morning because I was like, Muzz, my wife is always like, Johnny, you got to take Muzz out to catch fish. Don't just keep going for the big ones. And I always bring Muzz out, and we chase jacks or we go for these big flathead. So she, you know, I'm always like tossing up whether to bring you out and go with big baits or not um but it worked this morning how did you find using those slap sticks and hooking that big flatty yeah i mean i i for one like you know a anything on a line is, is a good result for me so it's like you said it's always a bit of a sort of um toss up of whether to go with something that's probably going to produce a few more fish or, yeah. or to sort of just try and hang tough which is you know like you don't get out a lot in yeah. which is the case for me like it's you're sort of like, oh, it could be, a, it could be a month or so till I'm out here again, and if I go without a fish, you know, like yeah. you're going to be really want one. So um, it's always, it's a massive buzz when it does pull off, and you persist, and and yeah. you and you get the result on the uh, PB, the, the bit of a reward for bravery sort of thing. So yeah, 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 yeah. stoked, absolutely stoked yeah. this morning with it. Which when when Muzz hooked that fish this morning, he was like, oh, I was just in that point where I was considering what to do, whether to go, you know, downsize a little, go away from these big slap sticks and uh, try something smaller that might get the numbers. But uh, mate, I'm glad you made that decision to go with, to hang in there and stick with the slapsticks. Um, can you tell me a little bit about, you know, the fight of, of fishing for these big flathead? Like, um, I, th I personally think flathead are massively underrated as a sports fish, especially the bigger ones in the shallows. And um, Muzz was sort of sharing stuff with me this morning about the fight. What did you find with the fight compared to when we're, you know, chasing jacks and fishing with jacks? How did that play out this morning? Yeah, I mean, that that, that initial sort of hit that they give you still, it, it goes right through you. You know, yeah. like when you, when a good good fish goes on, it's, it's going it, to, it sort of rattles the rod. The heart rate goes up and, and you're straight yeah. in the game. Um, and yeah, I think like the, the thing I probably thought in, in terms of the, the differences when you're fighting jack, sometimes you'll feel like it can all happen so quickly that you can, you know, for someone with a little bit less experience like me, it, you can, it can be done before you've even had a time to sort of, I don't know, either win it, whether you win or lose the fight, yeah. like have considered anything that's happening. Yeah, you yeah, sort of yeah. just completely just trying to do whatever you can for a few seconds to, to sort of win that war. I think the good thing, if you're fishing obviously more open spaces with Flatty, you do get that little bit more of a time where you can sort of take a few deep breaths, you know, and sort of like really enjoy the fight of the fish a bit more. And, yeah. you know, just to feel that sort of, you know, the drag going through the rod and to be able to sort of, you know, breathe in with it a little bit and sort of fight yeah. it up and down a little bit. Um, it does give you such a rush to be able to stay in that fight for a bit longer and sort of know that you've got a bit to play with. I'll just give you a look. This is the, the gear that I set Muzz up with this morning. It's really like just, it's one of my options for rods and you don't need high end gear all the time to chase these flatties, which is one of the best things about it. That's a 2000 Sahara on a seven foot rod that I picked up like really cheap in a bargain in a bargain bin sort of scenario. There's 10 pound line on there with a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader to his slapsticks. He was able to play the fish out. It went on some screaming runs across the flats and had time to enjoy it, which is, I, I just think you can get so much out of this big flathead game if you're persistent to, to go and throw those bigger lures and to try some different styles of retrieves with, with lures that you might not ordinarily try that you can really kind of enjoy, enjoy the sports side of it. Muzz, that's brilliant, mate. Thanks a lot for that. We'll, um, 
we'll crack on with this because I wanted to get you through onto what sort of lures that you might look for this season. But I didn't want to leave this this session with Muzz without uh, just trying to get some insight into how good this flathead fishing is, even for people that are just getting into it or don't get out to fish all that often. You can still get out and throw some lures and, and get some great success and enjoy the fight as well for everything that flathead fishing offers. All right, um, I'll go through. We talked on the slapsticks and uh, I won't go into how you rig these because I've done videos on that before, but essentially if you have a good look at that, that's the way that I like to rig this thing with a, um, with a weedless worm hook up the front and then a trailing stinger. Okay, and there's some little bits and pieces in there. If you want to know exactly how to do that, you'll have to check out my how to rig a slapsticks video, which I can link underneath this video in the, um, in the description for you, I'll make sure I do that. Then it's just a fairly light setup. Big long seven foot rod is all we're using to get long distance casts away from the boat. That's the way that I like to fish mostly early season to try and hunt down some of these bigger fish with these slapsticks. We also got snapped off, there was a giant that took a lure that uh, I'm not gonna show you just yet, but it's um, it's in the making that I'm pretty excited about that's coming in the, in the coming months this year, I'm hoping. But we fished, uh, we fished with these crossfire lures for a little bit. We didn't have any success this morning, but these things are fabulous and a lot of fun. But these are some other options for you. If you're wanting to chase big flathead, those crossfires, the slap sticks, and then things like these Rapala rip stops if you want to throw diving lures. That's a uh, rip stop and it's like a 12. And these finishes, just like that, they're my favorite. The ones that look just like a little whiting or a mullet, that's the kind of thing that you're looking for. And a suspending or very slow floating rip stop by Rapala are really good. I've also got one of these in. This is just a big skitter V, which um, I've had interest on these before. I haven't fished with them a lot, but the interest came on very quickly when I started fishing with these things. So that's another lure that I'll use as a surface option. And then You've got all of your tiny little diving options and diving lures like little tango shads and micro mullets by Lively Lures. And then down the bottom there, you might be able to see a die with double clutch. Hopefully the glare's not killing that shot. You can see the kind of little profile that you use. I'll get one out to show you. If you're just getting into your flathead fishing, this is probably the easiest and most consistent way to go about chasing flathead in numbers is to troll or cast with a really light setup, just small diving lures and floating diving lures, I reckon, are the way to go. Actually, I did a video only, I posted a video out of my kayaker's guide to the Gold Coast DVD on fishing for flathead made easy, only a couple of weeks ago, um, and that was done with little profiled diving lures like that. And they're fantastic, super effective to just drag through a meter, meter and a half of water across the edges of flats and things to catch your flathead like that. Um, and then the other options that you've got, I had these, these little splash prawns by MMD are fabulous on the flats. We didn't fish these this morning, but if you're wanting to go out and just try for anything, these things catch everything. And for flathead on surface lures, um, they can be a lot of fun, but even whiting, brim and trevally are gonna go them, pike and things. Um, if there's bust ups and showering bait on the flats, these would probably be my go-to. Okay, so that's the MMD Splash Prawn. You can see, hopefully, that profile there, just like a little prawn on the surface, and I've done reviews on those as well, so if you're interested and haven't fished those before, you can check those out and get your hands on some of them, the MMD Splash Prawn. Um, and as a surface fishing option, they would be one of the best catching uh, lures around. If you're into your soft plastics or you want to get into something really simple, then throwing soft plastics on like a, a 1 8 or this is a 1 6 2 0 um, headlocks jig head. So something like that with, uh, with a little tail on the back, like a paddling tail, like these are each Eastfield perch. And I'll give you a look at the profile on these things. Tiny little like a potty mullet profile, beautiful eye. Big paddling tail, little fin system structure there, a spot like a little uh, little cavity up the top there to sit your hook in if you wanted to go weedless or just a, a locator spot where to run your jig out of. But something small like that that you can just hop across the sand flats or down through the mud is really effective. Um, these, squidgy, these squidgy fish in the 70 are one of my favorites as well in that silver fox color. 
Uh, but a lot of guys that are fishing for flathead and do well year round fish with these. Uh, these are Holt Productions um, prawns, like the swim prawns, and these things are fabulous. If you haven't fished with these, you're missing out. You need to get yourself some. Maybe you can see the profile on that a little bit better. Yeah. So there's some options if you're looking to get into your flathead fishing and uh, you want to try some lures this season. The time is now. The flathead are turning up in good numbers. Generally, it's sort of the smaller ones first. And I don't know, I'm a bit impatient and I'll just go after that glory fish, to be honest. And that's what we did this morning. Um, and we were just using sort of 12-pound leader, 10-pound braid. And you can bump it up if you want to use those really big profile lures. The flathead aren't shy at that point when they've got something really big to, to leave their life for. Um, and you can get onto some big fish and exciting sport fishing that way. So look, thanks a lot for hanging around. The fishing this morning, it was, it was slow for us, but we still managed a beautiful big flathead and we dropped a giant as well. So um, the time of year, there's gonna be a lot more of this stuff coming. Fishing out of, out of my kayak as well on these flats and in the tinny. Thanks a lot for your uh, comments and advice out offshore. If you've been watching and following those videos as well, your advice and your comments have been really helpful. And um, hopefully I've been able to return the favor if you're interested in getting into your flathead fishing. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.